I want you to do everything in your power to keep Donkey Kong distracted. Steal that hoard of Golden Bananas he treasures so much and take care of his pathetic friends. This time there can be no mistakes. Oh, your excellency, we've already taken care of business. <laughs> Visit 
quickly but surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Hey there guys, OGM here, welcome you to Donkey Kong 64, my newest Let's Play. Yes guys, oh man, how long I have been waiting to get this one underway. So first off, for those of you guys that don't know, this is a rare game, and as you guys know, I love me some rare games. Oh my gosh, this is my childhood alongside of Banjo-Kazooie, this game. Oh man, but anyway... So we're Donkey Kong, and uh, there was an alligator, and he trapped up the Kongs, which you guys probably saw, and uh, yeah. What else can I really say? We had a little bird who came in, and he told us that they're all gone. We don't know what he's talking about. He could be talking about the golden bananas, which is what the alligator man was talking about. Or he could be talking about our family, because everyone knows that the family's gone. I mean, we saw them get put into cages. Squat! Your precious banana horn and all the other Kongs have vanished. What? No, oh my gosh, that'd be so annoying if I did that. I gotta think of a, of a voice for this. You can't find any of them anywhere, Donkey. No. Hmm. I gotta think. What can I use for Squawk's voice? Yes, guys, I actually know the bird's name because I've played Donkey Kong Country. Technically, Donkey Kong Country comes before this, but you know, it's fine. Whatever. I gotta think of a of a voice for Squawk. But yeah, guys, we'll think of something, but in order to start this game, believe it or not, you actually have to come over here to Cranky Kong, which is rather odd, because there's no, like, indication saying, yo, you should go to Cranky. It's just, hey, you should go to Cranky in order to move on. Well, if it isn't my lazy good-for-nothing son lost your golden bananas again, and where might your filthy bitten friends be? You don't know, do you? I thought I would be able. I thought I'd be able. Uh, I don't remember what I was saying, cause you know I'm just looking inside this potion and kind of reading. But who cares? Oh, uh, Cranky's batch of homemade potions will give you the skills you need for your adventure. Oh, uh, oh God, my arthritis is kicking in. Oh, I wish I had more of this juice here. I'm not gonna tell you what's in here though, cause. Oh, it may make me young again. Oh, Lord. Oh, okay, but, uh, anyway, boss, have to go back here later. Oh, jeez. Oh, that was too much. Oh, God. Oh. What did Cranky mean about that training? Donkey Kong all confused. Yeah, man, Donkey Kong's not exactly the brightest bulb in the box. However, he is a good man at heart. He tries his best. Also, you guys might have noticed, normally DK is the grandson. No, I'm pretty sure if I read that right, and I wasn't just like skimming through the text, which I kind of was, uh, but like I'm pretty sure that he actually said my good for nothing son, which would mean that in the DK timeline, because yes, there actually is a timeline specifically for uh, Donkey Kong. Yes, actually, it would mean that DK is actually Donkey Kong Jr. from the original Donkey Kong series, like Donkey Kong 1 and then Donkey Kong 2 and then Donkey Kong 3. He would be DK Jr. So, take that, whoever really cares. I don't know, again, it could be me just reading it wrong, but, you know, it's fine, whatever. But there we go. So, one mission done. What's the next one that's sparkling? Because that's probably the next easiest one. I mean, I can go in any one that I want, but I want to see which one it wants me to go to next. If any. It's like, you know what? I don't care which one you go to. Well, fine, game. I didn't want to go to yours anyway. I'm going to go in this one. See if I care, because I don't. Is this water? Oh, it's totally water. All right, here we go. Squawk! Press Z to dive underwater! What? What? Actually, that's not a bad voice for him. I think that's what we'll do. All right, here we go. So now we are under the water. And also, I just love how Squawk's just like, yo, I'm here. Even though like I'm not in the barrel with you, I'm here in spirit with you. Don't you worry. Also, I'm going to swim to the surface. Nope. Nope, I was going to like try and get back up there. Uh, fun fact, I probably should have said this. Donkey Kong cannot drown just like uh, Mario can't. So, if you guys are curious, don't worry. You won't die. Just know that uh, you, need to, you need to worry about just enemies that would be in the water. But don't worry, you can't drown, which is nice. 
Now, if this was Mario 64, we could drown. But, you know, well, this is not Mario 64. This is Donkey Kong 64. Who needs air? I'm going to climb this tree, too. See if I care. I'm a monkey. You can't make me stop. I got nothing, and you got nothing, and I want my bananas. Also, last barrel already. That seemed like we went really fast through these. I could just be flying through these, but honestly, that went extremely fast. Oh, look, it's oranges. I love oranges. Squawk, pick up the orange. Quack. Hold Z and then press the thing, and you'll do a thing. Quack. Basically, what he's telling you is, these are grenades. Yes, guys, we actually have explosions now. Only thing you gotta do is just chuck them all. And you can only send out four at a time, which kind of sucks, but there you go. You're done. Training's over. Really simple. So close to the top of the tree. I wanted that tree, man. I probably should have just climbed up there and thrown him off. That would have been better. Also, I finished on the right one because you can see the purple magic coming out. Squawk! Hurry up, Donkey Kong! Don't get the potion! The potion? The potion. Dude, that voice is so hard for me to actually read and do it with because it's like it's so like in the back of my throat. That's weird. I'm going to have to try this, like, practice with it for a little bit. But I'll get it. I'll get it. I think that's definitely a solid voice, though, for Squawk. All right, let's go. Cranky. Hello, sir. Let's go. Also, I love that I know the roll technique. It's a, it's a move that, like, no one ever does. But, like, it actually helps you travel so much faster if you actually know how to do it. Oh, my arthritis. You took your time, donkey. Jungaro set in. Did it? Here, drink this. It'll help you out. The, the Simeon Slam for the button bash him. Good to know. We can button bash him now. Good to know. Right. You and your missing buddies will be able to slam the ground by pressing something to jump and then pressing something else while still in the air. However, I can't remember what those buttons are because, you see, it's been a while since I've been out of my own bowl. Oh, God. I can't remember where I even left anything. Oh, jeez. Bring me 15 banana medals. I think they look like this. Oh, I think. Hold on, I have a piece of paper around here somewhere. I'll draw it for you. Oh, oh here you go, Donkey Kong. Take it. Oh, God. Wow, Cranky. Sounds like you're slowly dying over there, man. Oh, come back here, you whippersnapper. I'll tell you who's dying around here. What's this say? The training area or the way out? Let's go to the way out because the way out is clearly the right way. Also, wait a minute. You know what? I didn't... I would want to go to the way out. However, I didn't explore this area thoroughly. Let me see what's truly over here because I feel like this is actually probably a really good idea to explore things. Because, I mean, look, there's a waterfall cave right here and lily pads that are flying because what else could possibly go wrong besides flying lily pads? Nothing is the answer. You got to love flying lily pads. All right, so where are we? Bananas, bananas at, wait, what did I say? There was a sign. Banana horde, way out. All right, so this is where your precious golden bananas are. However, we also have a DK dirt here. Uh, is that not it? Well, we got to move. However, that's not it. So we're going to have to come back for that thing. I wonder what else we could have here. I truly do wonder. So, that way's the way out. However, I still want to explore over here, because we've not gone beside Cranky's lab yet. Let's see what he's got over here. Uh, anything over here? A light bulb. I'm glad that we have a light bulb. And corns! <gasps> we have corns! I love corn. Wait, what's this? That's another thing. I can't get... Also, bats, you need to stop it. But I have corns. Whatever corns are for, I have them. Yay for corns! I guess we just keep rolling until we get out of here. I mean, I really don't know what exactly we're supposed to be doing in here. I mean, we got some free corns, and we got a golden banana. Well, not a golden banana. We found where they belong, rather, is what I meant to say. We found where they live, and then we found two dirt things that see DK. Also, this is my face. That's what it's for. Hooray. Gotta love it, man. All right, so here we go. Outside to take me to... Ba -ba -da -da -ba -ba. Squawk, of course. Squawk, he's in the back, Donkey Kong. King K. Rules Island, just over there. He must be the one who stole your bananas. He kidnapped the other cogs as well. They've taken quite a look around. But the only air there hasn't been blocked off is the island which has a cave on there. Good to know, Squawk. Thank you. Squawk apparently knows, man. And he's like, go to this cave. 
Squawk is basically your guide to this game, if you guys haven't picked that up yet. Also, fun little fact here, I want to point this out. We have pop caps. It goes one through five in every single level, just so you guys know. When you step on them, when you step on them, Squawk comes out, actually. Find a similar number pad in the same area. Press br <laughs> Press br Press br 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 Silly Squawk, it's fine. Anyway, here we go. Press one, two, three, four, five. When you get on them, they do nothing. However, like Squawk said, if you guys actually bother to read him and not just listen to me say it, uh, basically what he says is when you hit Z, you'll crouch and you'll actually be teleported to the other pop cap that is representative of your color slash number. Also, this is a Kong barrel. Spoiler alert, not really because you guys already saw the other Kongs. However, you guys can see these are the other Kongs. Again, it's not really a spoiler because of the fact that you guys have already seen the Kong. So, there you go. But yeah, there you go. There's your Kong symbol. But let's go ahead and find all other, uh, all of the five other bottle caps. And I'm pretty sure that'll be good. Also, it's a naughty. Hmm, naughty, naughty, you little naughty. Fun fact, yes, his name is actually Naughty. I'm not just being weird. It actually is named Naughty. I love it. Naughty the Beaver. If you guys actually watch my Banjo-Kazooie Let's Play, you guys will actually know who Naughty the Beaver is already. I know it's kind of cool that they actually put a DK64 in Banjo-Kazooie. I love it. Also, is that a pineapple? And a bee. A little buzz buzz. Hello, buzz buzz. How are you? Buzz 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 buzz. That's fine. Buzz buzz, you need to just stay over there, buddy. And then, naughty naughty, mustn't do. Donkey Kong will just come and murder you. It's true, man. Donkey Kong's vicious. He don't care. He don't care. Donkey Kong will murder you faster than anything ever before in your life. Uh, anything else? No. Okay. So let me talk about this here. Do you see that little shining star over there in the corner? Now, you guys may already know what that is. However, in case you guys don't, just by the retrospective where it is, that is actually the Kong barrel. Whenever you guys go into there, obviously you guys can do your Kong thing. I mean, you guys already got what it is. I mean, it's just telling you, hey, there's your Kong barrel in case you can't see it because it's not like in your actual view distance. Because you guys can kind of see how things appear here randomly. Well, ooh, doo -doo 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 -doo, I'm dead. I'm actually not dead. I just, oh, there's oranges down there. I want these oranges. But yeah, um, you guys can actually see how like they kind of just appear. It's kind of nice that way. Also, I should say this too. You guys saw how it said I had 20 oranges. If you guys hit start, you guys can actually see your totals. We have three coins, 20 oranges. Right, there's your melon. You guys can see that already. But yeah, it's pretty simple. I mean, there's not really much to talk about right now because we don't really have many items. I mean, that's how every single adventure always is, right? You don't have a whole lot. However, you have to start exploring somewhere. So we're going to go ahead and explore DK Island here. And then we have to go to King K. Rules Island. And we'll go ahead and explore there. Or his ship, rather. I guess it's his ship. It's kind of like an island, but who cares? But here we go. All right, so let's not actually fail this time, and let's do this right. So let's go ahead and roll around, because rolling is actually 10 times faster than walking, which you've already seen. But let's not miss the lily pad this time. All right, here we go. Ready? Jump. Jump. Jump again. Three times. Score. Perfect. All right, so where are we? There's a buzz buzz above me. I heard it, and I saw it. It was beautiful and yellow. But here we go. Warp two. We got a rock. All right. Hello, beautiful rock. You're there. I'm here. We got another rock over here. Okay, I see you there. What else do we got? Anything? Another rock right there. So we can't do anything there yet either. All right. So many things. Then again, though, Squawk did warn us about the whole entire island being all closed off. So I guess it's not exactly unheard of. It just kind of sucks. But here we go. So we have warp two and three. We're missing four, five, and one. However, I do remember that one was actually right over here. We saw it in front of the cave, or at least I did during the cutscene. I don't know if you guys saw it, but I did. So let's go ahead and snag that real quick, and then uh, we'll go ahead and look for four and five, because that will actually take care of the first three. There we go. There's number one. Perfect. There's also a gigantic rock. What's back here? Is there anything back here? Oh, oh, there's a thing. There's a grape? I think that's a grape. Yeah, and there's banana. Okay, so that's a golden banana. We've not seen one of those yet. But there's that for you. And what's over here? We've got absolutely nothing. Lovely, of course, right? All right, so what's this? Tiny. It's it's invisible. Good to know. Okay. It's teeny tiny compared to me, and it's invisible. Lovely. 
I just love how like oversized Donkey Kong is to some of these things. Like obviously like all the Kongs like have their own like perspective, like draw distance and whatnot. I mean you guys saw that from the very intro even with the with the what's it called? The the DK rap. Like you guys saw that everyone has their own proper perspective. However, it's weird because of just like how big some of them are. Like look at Donkey Kong compared to this barrel right here. Do you guys see how big Donkey Kong is compared to this barrel? It's huge. And like that's supposed to be like your sign, like, hey, this is the wrong character. Also, what is that? That's a f that's Kazooie's feather, man. That is a red feather if I've ever seen one. Also, there's another golden banana in there. All right, and here is warp number five. All right, and that looks like there's a cave underwater down there. So we're still missing number four, but I personally think that we've been exploring for far too long considering the fact that we're already 25 minutes into this episode. I know, crazy, right? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to just go for progress. We can find number four later. It's not a big deal. I just want to make some progress in this episode and not just be at, like intro cutscene. I mean, look, here's another cutscene. I don't want to make this all just cutscenes. That would be absolutely terrible, and I really don't want to do that. So I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> My name's SK Slumber, and I've been locked down here because I wasn't Smash Up Little Island. <laughs> How can I, such a lovely little island, for a cute monkey so I said no? <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm saying, <laughs> King K. Rool said I'm too soft to be a Kremlin, and I'm taking it here until I've toughened it up. <laughs> I'll do anything to be free again. <laughs> wow. Wow, sir, you need to calm it down. I love how I'm just staring him down, just like, what the heck? <laughs> little monkey. <laughs> Perhaps you can help a monkey loves you as king. Oh, go on. I'll be your bestest friend. I really don't know if I want a gigantic alligator friend. That's kind of scary, actually. Oh, my gosh. Yes, Donkey Kong will help. Good to know that we're just like, okay, we'll help you, man. Oh, my gosh. Is he bouncing on his tail? He is totally rocking that tail, man. That spin. Wow, that tail spin, though. I've heard of, like, tail whip from, like, Pokemon. And, like, I've heard of, like, a tail spin from, like, from, like, different type of fighting games. Like, if you're, like, you're a fox or something. Like, you use, like, your tail, like, as a weapon for, like, a defense or something. Like, a roundabout attack. But, dang, man. That was a full-out tail spin. That was a dance craze right there. Okay, come look. Oh, he's actually happening now. Oh, mm -hmm. what what voice could I use for him? I think I could actually use my deep voice, like Owen's voice. I think I could totally use Owen's voice for him now that he's actually happy. All right. If you manage to get hold of any keys, please bring them back here to open my locks. Don't tell K. Rulo. This has to be our little secret. I want to actually hear what his voice sounds like to see if that was anywhere even close. Can you talk? Sir, can you talk? Apparently not. All right. Oh. Oh, actually, yeah, he is kind of... <sighs> actually, that's not bad, like, to have Owen's voice as him. I could totally do that. All right, we'll have Owen's voice come back for him. Don't worry, Donkey Kong. I will help you on all of your adventures. Thank you. Thank you, Fat Alligator Man. You are truly the best. Also, Golden Banana makes it one for one. Perfect. Here we go, though. Where are we now? We are inside of a Green Menace. Also, there, there's a cash register. Hey, over here, dumb ape. I'm the great b -Locker. Don't think for a minute you're coming in. Here without sowing me some of your stupid golden bananas. You're probably that fat old K rule. The big sawmill in the sky for... What? What? He's saying if we don't pay him, he's going to go be killed by King K rule. That's just wrong, man. He's going to go be killed if he doesn't bring golden bananas to King K rule. So basically, let me make sure I got this right. I'm paying you with golden bananas. That way he doesn't die. But he's giving them back to King K. Rule. Which means realistically, think about this. Like, honestly, if I give him one banana, that means that I've literally made no progress. Because he's going to give that one banana back to King K. Rule. 
That is messed up. Just so he doesn't die. That is messed up, man. Also, who are you? Don't be afraid, young ones. I'm me, Wrigley Cog. My body may have passed since DKC3. Oh, I get it. It's funny because it's a joke to Donkey Kong Country 3. Lol. Yeah, guys. I actually never use her. However, I just wanted to actually say that line right there. Because for those of you guys that don't actually, actually know who this is. Fun fact, this is actually Cranky's wife. Um, she is the helper in DK, uh, DKC3. She actually holds little banana birds at her house. And she kind of just chills and she's your save point. She's actually a really fun character and she gives you little hints. Just like how she does here too if you come and talk to her. However, I just wanted to go ahead and say that part right there. But yeah, there you go. So anyway, enough fooling around here. I'm pretty sure we've got everything. Come on, I haven't got all day. Show me the bananas. Yeah. Whoa, man. You need to calm down, sir. So guys, I hate to end it here because we've literally gotten absolutely nothing. To, well, we have gotten some stuff done. But like basic, basic intro stuff is what we've got done. But guys, we are officially at 30 minutes, which sucks. So guys, next time on DK64... You and me, and apparently a fly that just came out of my head, are going to go ahead and continue on our Donkey Kong adventures. So guys, we totally just ate that fly. And then we swallowed it. Lovely. That was very classy. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys are ready for this because it's going to be a long trip. So I strongly suggest, if you guys are watching this in the future, grab a cold drink because you're going to be here for quite some time. A couple hours for sure. So guys... Thank you all so much for coming out, everyone. I had a blast. I hope you guys did, too. And until next time, everyone, OGM, signing out.